morning welcome to welcome back to my channel my name is natalie de gracia and today we are doing another workout challenge girl this week i'm going to be walking three miles every single day just for fun we're just gonna see what's gonna happen as some of you guys know i'm on a weight loss journey i started my journey at 200 pounds and right now i weigh 174 pounds and hopefully by the end of the week we're gonna see if i lost weight if i stayed the same we're just gonna see okay and i do want to say i am not a doctor i'm not a nutritionist i am not a personal trainer this is just me and my own personal experience on my weight loss journey you guys, I feel like I'm talking super fast and I haven't even had caffeine yet. Super excited! What's up? So y'all, this is me. I'm feeling a little bit bloated in this region. This is me, day one. I always try and cover like how big my arms are with my hair. This is what I look like. I'm like trying to walk super fast. This is the fastest I've ever walked ever. I'm trying to walk super fast because my mom is using the gym for her meetings. I'm on a super strict time limit to walk these three miles. I'm hustling, baby girl. I'm hustling and I'm full of electricity. Nothing can stop me now. Done. Oh Lord, I cannot believe I did it. I walked three miles in under an hour. I burned 233 calories. Clearly, I am superhuman. You guys, look at how red I am. If you guys have been following my weight loss journey and all my workout challenges, this was my first time walking at three miles per hour the entire time. And then finally at the end at 3.5 miles per hour. I've never done that, you guys. I just had to push myself today because I was on a time crunch, girl, but we did it. We did it. Before I shower, I also do want to say that today I did complete my three miles in under an hour. Am I going to do that for the rest of the week? Hell no. I don't want to do that. Hopefully for the rest of the week, I'm going to be able to calmly walk my three miles. Hey guys, today is day two. I'm feeling thin. Today is day two of me walking three miles. I woke up this morning at 174.2 pounds. We're gonna try and break 174 pounds, you guys. This past week, I weighed 174 pounds. And so this week, we're gonna try, okay? We're gonna try 173, 173. We got this. guys, I'm definitely taking my time today. I don't know if you can see, but I'm sweating super bad. I'm sweating a lot. Done! I burned 246 calories. Today, it took me an hour and eight minutes to walk three miles. Go. May day. May day. I am starting to feel a blister on the bottom of my right foot. So guys, um, don't mind the setup back there. My mom's doing a meeting um, in this room because she needs a blank wall. At the start of this workout, I hustled and I walked my first mile at 3.5 miles per hour. And that took me about 20 minutes to complete the first mile. And then afterwards, I was just coasting, okay? I was just walking at about 2.5 miles per hour. Mostly because today I was on a little bit of a time crunch also. So hopefully tomorrow I really will be able to just have a chill, calm, three mile hot girl walk. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I got my three miles done for today and I'll see you guys later. Hey friends, so today is what? Wednesday? Another day, another three miles. I'm gonna be honest. I'm sore. I'm sore, but in a place you wouldn't expect. I'm gonna give you three seconds to guess. One, two, three. You're wrong. I am sore in between my toes. 
You're done. You're done. My toes. Girl. I don't understand the Lord's work, okay? It is not my job to understand the Lord's work, okay? All I know is after this challenge, I'm gonna have some strong toes. Anyway, peaches, babies, and dogs with rabies, let's do this workout. Don't play with me right now. I know y'all see that line right there. I know it means nothing, but I just like to see it. Am I jacked? Am I shredded? I know y'all see that. Three miles! Woohoo! To walk three miles today, it took me an hour and 22 minutes. You guys, I'm going to be super TBH honest, okay? My feet are aching. And I just walked the entire three miles at 2.5 miles per hour. If my feet could talk right now, it would be screaming. I just know my feet are going to be so sore tomorrow. I want a foot massage. Uh, comment down below if anybody knows if I could just go to like a massage place and be like, can you massage me? <laughs> Someone comment down below and let me know if that's a thing because <laughs> my feet, you guys, Pray for my piggies. Pray for my little piggies. My toes. If you don't know what piggies are, toes. We in the club hollering, a baby, a baby, a baby. Girl, queen, boss, babe. What's up, days, gays? Berries and berries. Oh, you're lying. She's a freaking fit queen. She's fit. She is fit. Ding. I'm feeling like a Scooby-Doo character right now. I don't know what it is about this orange Velma-esque Daphne leggings. Wow, I look good. She's killing it. Not me breaking my hip. Stand up straight. All right, still cute. Still cute. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Woo! Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, let's go. This is me regular. This is me sucking it in. <gasps> Almost passing out for the YouTube video. Almost passing out for the YouTube video. Let's get walking, ladies. Today it took me an hour and nine minutes to walk my three miles, which is pretty darn good. Today's three miles felt a little bit easier. I was walking the entire three miles at 2.7 miles per hour. Um, it was a little bit challenging, but also relaxing at the same time. I'm a little bit shocked that I finished this fast, walking only at 2.7 miles per hour. Um, an hour and nine minutes, that's pretty good. I also forgot to mention that this morning my toes felt less sore. Go off. So overall this workout seemed pretty chill. Um, I'm really happy that I got my workout in. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey y'all, it is day five of this challenge. It is quite literally 10.30 p.m. And I'm about to walk three miles. Mm, I did not really plan my day out well enough. Therefore, here I am. Love that for me. Stella. Literally Stella. So yeah, guys. Today is day five of this challenge. I'm supposed to be walking three miles. 
It should take me about like an hour and 20. I was at the mall today, so I did do some walking, but I'm not gonna count it because it wasn't on the treadmill and I did not document it. And yes, I also did self tan yesterday. Let's do this. This lighting is a trash can right now, but it's nighttime, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I am swaying back and forth. I probably have almost fallen off this treadmill like three times now. I'm so tired. Done. I did it. Three miles in an hour and 14 minutes. Sorry for the lack of enthusiasm, y'all. I, I am exhausted. Am I a little disappointed that this entire week I've weighed 174 pounds? Yes, but also I am freaking proud of myself for still weighing 174 pounds. I also do want to mention that I'm feeling a little bit wobbly. Like I feel a little bit like, ooh. Maybe that's because I'm tired and I'm literally falling asleep while I'm standing up. One thing also that I noticed while I was walking was that my lower back started to hurt. And I'm thinking maybe my lower back was starting to hurt because when I was at the mall, I was walking around and my purse was super heavy. So maybe, I don't know, I was like off balance and like now my back is a little tender. I have no idea, but I just have to say that. So um, all that's left is for me to do my weigh-in tomorrow. And we're gonna see how much I weigh. But really y'all, this is me not sucking it in. <laughs> Here we are y'all. Today was weigh-in day and I look like this. Hot diggity doll, we did it guys. <laughs> I am super proud of myself that I stayed disciplined this entire week and I did three miles every single day. However, the results, let's talk about it. Okay, so I stayed 174 pounds this entire week. I definitely want to make this clear. If you're barely starting on your own weight loss journey and you are starting it off with a challenge to yourself to walk, you know, 30 minutes a day or a mile or like me, three miles a day. It's a bit much, it's a bit excessive. I do wanna stress that you can lose a few pounds in one week. That can definitely happen. However, if it doesn't happen, like for me, let's pretend this was my first week working out, right? I'm going hard. Okay, I'm walking three miles every single day. In my mind, I'm expecting results. However, in this case, which we all saw, I did not lose weight this week, even though I was walking three miles every single day. So what I want to stress is to not be discouraged after just one week of working out. We start to see results once we start to become more consistent and more active and more mindful of what we're eating. The eating part is hard. I completely understand because sometimes we eat out of pure convenience. You know, the drive throughs right there. I can get my food within five minutes. I want a quick snack. It's much quicker to open up a bag of chips than it is to wash and cut and prepare strawberries and blueberries. I completely understand that part. Would I have loved to lose two pounds this week? Yeah, okay, I would have been okay with that, you know? But that didn't happen for me. And what I really want you to understand if you're watching this and you're gonna start your weight loss journey is to don't push yourself too hard the first couple of weeks that you're starting to work out because as I remember there was this one time where I was in college and I wanted to lose a bit of weight and my first day back at the gym, I walked seven miles, expecting to lose weight by the next day. And that's just not realistic. Like I like to say in my videos, slow progress is good progress. 
We want to lose weight slowly, okay? So even though I walked three miles every single day for a week, I'm still the same weight. Could my diet have been better? Don't even right now. Don't even right now. I know my diet could have been better. If you guys are curious to see what I ate this week, I'm going to be posting a video tomorrow and it's going to be titled, What I Ate in a Week Trying to Lose Weight. So I did start my weight loss journey at 200 pounds and now I still currently weigh 174 pounds and that is okay. Don't beat yourself up, okay? It, being on a weight loss journey is hard enough. Don't beat yourself up when you hit kind of like a plateau because plateaus are necessary in weight loss journeys. Every week is a new week to make new decisions and those decisions propel us into the future and we get to decide where we want our lives to go. I do wanna thank you guys so much for pushing me to actually make this video. One, because you guys are making me exercise and sometimes that's really hard for me and this video was a perfect way for me to get some exercise in girl <laughs> and if you guys see that another workout challenge is leading in the polls you guys are more than welcome to do the workout with me and that way we're doing it together and then at the end of the week i'll post my video reporting what happened and you guys can let me know what happened to you in the comments oh my gosh that would be kind of cool but I'm not a personal trainer girl. I am not a personal trainer, okay? And do this at your own risk. Please be careful. I do not want any of you to get hurt, okay? Love you. And with that being said, thank you, thank you so much for participating in this week's community post. And stay tuned for next week so you guys can vote for what video you guys wanna see for next weekend. And don't forget to check out my social medias if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. But YouTube is where I'm at, girl. I love it here. I love it here. And I do post new videos absolutely every single Saturday and Sunday. And yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for making this weight loss journey fun. And yeah, love you. Mwah. Bye.